Hi, I'll be talking about antenna arrays and how the advanced antenna techniques such as MIMO and beamforming are relying on antenna arrays. Now on the screen, if you see on the left side, this is the electromagnetic waves coming out of the antenna. Uh, on the right side, it is the spherical coordinate system or a 3D in a 3D space, we can see how the signal is being transmitted. Now the signal transmission or the pattern depends upon the two major factor. One is the zenith angle, which is theta. Another is the azimuth angle, which defines how the beam is being formed in horizontal and vertical plane respectively. We are considering an example of two antenna arrays here, two antenna elements and how it is going to change the gain and the pattern uh, as compared to that of a single antenna element. Now the gain is a logarithmic value, it is we can see that with the, as we keep on increasing the number of antenna elements, it will give us a higher gain. As compared to a single element, it will give a double the gain or double the transmit power at particular place, but that depends upon theta which is at, at which direction, in which direction we will get the maximum gain, that will be derived by theta. Now uh, if on the screen at the bottom if you see, we are having a comparison of a single element or antenna array element. Uh, versus two antenna array element uh, pattern. So we can see the gain in case of a two antenna elements is higher as compared to the single antenna element. And accordingly now, if you see the zenith angle has been squeezed in case of two antennas, which is kind of a making a beam as compared to the single antenna element. And also we have certain points where the gain will be zero. That's how the beam, in, beam is being formed. Uh, let's see this by an example. Okay, so we are going to uh, generate a pattern for uh, antenna elements of, say for example, we are considering two here. And uh, I've considered a 3.6 gigahertz frequency band with certain uh, set azimuths and elevation uh, and zenith angles. So let's generate it and uh, we'll see the pattern um, with two antenna elements. Now this is a kind of antenna pattern we are getting with uh, two antenna elements and we are getting around 6 dBi as a gain. Now, if we keep on increasing the number of um, arrays, antenna arrays, we'll see that how it's going to change the antenna pattern and accordingly the gain, uh, the beam forming, everything will get changed. Now here if you see with the, the number of eight antenna arrays, if we compare it with the yeah, here, two cross two, now we can see the beam started making formed here and the gain has been almost three times as compared to that we have seen in 2 cross 2. So yeah, this is uh, all about the antenna area and the gains. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.